What is going on YouTube? You're watching Next Gen Speed. Today we're heading out to this Mediterranean place over in uh, downtown Plymouth, Michigan. Gonna get some great food, especially some food, but I'm happy to say that the Corvette is officially at 499 miles, guys, if you guys see right there. So officially at 500 miles, the car will be pretty much fully breaking in. The entire dash will change, as you can see right here. The red line is about 4,500 RPMs, which is not supposed to be like that, but that is how the build and procedure is for the Corvette. So once you hit 500 miles, the RPMs will unload, open up, so you can finally get going and open up your car and feel the full speed of it. So I'm pretty excited, been driving the car pretty slow lately, ever since I first got it. So I'm kind of babying it, making sure it breaks in fully, and, and just to make sure it breaks in correctly, because I do not want anything happening to this car, especially buying it, so. And I'm, I'm not sure if there'll be a different feeling with the car, but I'm pretty sure there will be, because the car feels a little bit limited right now, especially with the RPMs like that. So I can't. Had the car for officially five days so far, so I've been putting about 100 miles a day so far on it. And we're officially at 500 miles, guys. Our teams have not changed yet, but I think it does keep a couple seconds, so. And there we go, guys. She's officially broken in. As you see, the RPMs are now at 65 or 55. Sorry, 6,500. Sorry, I'm driving right now, but. But I can't wait to officially open her up, guys. We're officially downtown right here. About to grab my food, then we're about to go for a little cruise and see how she feels. All right, guys, got our food. About to go cruise in the car now, see how it officially feels because it felt amazing so far. You definitely get a supercar feel out of the car. It's definitely something different than everything else I've driven. And this is actually the first Corvette I've ever driven and first mid-engine layout car I've ever driven as well. So everything's all new to me, but the car feels amazing, guys. So planned into the road, no matter what speed you're at. Everything is just so smooth and so perfect. Everything just guides you through and follows through. Look at this beauty right here. Had her first wash today. Looking nice, guys. Still can't get over this car. <laughs> but let's see how she officially feels. All right, guys. So I'm a little pissed right now because my GoPro actually broke for some reason. Haven't used it in a couple of months and I just tried charging it for a few hours and it just will not charge. So I think I need a whole new battery for it. So can't give you guys a full, like full view of what I want to show you guys, what I'm looking at, but I'll do the best I can, you know, give you a little reaction and what's going on. So, so cool thing about the C8 Corvette is you have multiple modes on the car, including like tour, sport, track, my mode, which is pretty much uh, your own selected mode with your own options. What's pretty cool about the car is you could choose your own modes for every single option that you have. So you go in the settings real quick, choose for like your uh, engine sound, engine performance mode, the feel of the steering wheel, and the feel of the magnetic ride suspension. So got a lot of options you could choose from, but if you see right here on the steering wheel, the Z button, this is also additional mode, which is made for pretty much racing, which is the Zora mode, they say. This pretty much changes the whole feel of the car, changes the entire dashboard, as you see right here, the cluster changes. Pretty much track focused. The HUD up here changes as well. It pretty much makes it a track focused mode and everything just gets a lot more aggressive. The car starts downshifting aggressively by itself and just, and pretty much just a track focused mode. So we're gonna use this mode right now to feel the whole feel of the car. I need to get out of this city real quick. Uh, that was nice so far. Didn't really get to get up there, but definitely felt that. Especially compared to the Camaro, like this thing is much more planted. I mean, it's obvious because the engine in the back and all the weight in the back, but this car was just built phenomenally, guys. Like, I have no complaints yet. And when you go around corners and stuff, you might feel like you're about to get loose, but this car is just fully planted. Like, my Camaro, I could easily drift the corners, slap my tires, but this one is definitely a challenge, but it definitely helps you and keeps you safe and keeps the car down. A little downshift for you guys. Oh, we got some pops now. Barely heard any of those. Let's put it in manual mode right here. Let's see. Man, this transmission too. I forgot to bring up the transmission. This dual clutch transmission is so beautiful, man. It's like butter. It literally shifts like nothing. It has, there's no hesitation, no delays. Especially with my Camaro 6 gen, like when I'll be shifting the manual select mode on the automatic. There'll be a little delay here and there, and when I would hit it, it'd take probably like one or two seconds to fully engage, but this one is literally no delay at all, and it's just crisp. Let's hear this. Instant. Man. <laughs> the auto. Do 
little poll for you guys right here. Scope out the area, make sure there's no feds. Wow. No way. Now that feels nice. Instant acceleration as soon as you put the foot down on it because so far with 500 miles in this car, have not fully planted it down, but that just unleashed the beast, guys. This thing is something else. I really wish I get some more time with the car before it starts snowing, but it's probably gonna snow in the next couple of weeks. So I'm trying to get as much content as I can, as much driving as I can, because this car is amazing. Guys. It's gonna suck watching the car sit in the winter in the garage, but man, next summer is gonna be amazing. I can't wait for that. Let's get another pull for you guys real quick. Jesus, that feeling, oh my God. I haven't got that feeling in a long time, guys. I mean, these are the Camaro horsepower, and this thing is just another level. Give me butterflies, honestly. And to Mickey, if you're watching, this boy is going to give you butterflies like no other thing, man. Right, let's get another one in. I'm loving this so far, guys. Finally get to feel the beast. Oh, we got a nice opening right here, guys. I can't even explain that. It's just so quick, so damn quick. Like I was in a Hellcat the other day, first time in a Hellcat, and this is honestly feeling faster. I don't know if it's just me or it's because I'm driving the car. This is honestly feels faster than a Hellcat. Not the full on, like right off the bat acceleration, but once you hit about second or, or third gear, and once it hits, that thing will literally take you. Like, I need some more room on the road. This thing does not have enough room. It's too quick. <laughs> All right, guys. Do a nice little pull here. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> this car is still giving me the heebie-jeebies, these guys. This car is fast. Like, I've never felt the car this fast, guys. I'm fucking in love. This thing is crazy. Jesus, so quick. Like, I need to do a zero to 60 test in a second, but this is fun as hell. I just wish I had more room. Especially being later on in the day now. Can't really see what's going on, but this car is a beast, guys. This car is phenomenal. Like every shift point, every every shift, everything about it is just amazing. Like the car just wants to go, has no hesitation, and you're just going on with it. It's literally taking you on a ride. <laughs> Probably be driving this thing all night. <laughs> all right, guys, I just did a pull from about 70 to 110. And that was so fucking quick. Like I cannot like show you guys or rationalize how quick this car is. Literally 70 to 110 within one gear, literally all within one gear. Like I still had a lot of more plenty to go. Like, this car is just something else, man. I'm so happy I got this car. And if you're still waiting for it, it is definitely worth the wait, guys. This thing is just a beauty. Like I can say it all day. 